Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I'm going to show you how to make these little uh, vintage uh, woman to bloomer pot holders. Um, this one's got like two ruffles, but this one I show you how to make with the one ruffle. And I kind of just put a little flower on mine. You don't have to do that or anything, but it's real easy. This would be something good for a beginner. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this project I am using peaches and cream, which is just a medium weight four ply, 100% cotton yarn so you need to use uh, cotton if you're going to be using these um, as really pot holders you're going to need to make sure you use 100 percent cotton and you might need to make two of these and double it up but otherwise mine's going to be decoration i'm just going to hang mine up so i just did one but if you want them to be functional make sure you use cotton and you might probably need to put two together um this has about 95 yards and one of these would be enough to do a pot holder and the color I'm using this one is I don't even know I thought I just seen it blue moon ombre and I'm using some regular white too and I'm going to be using a size G which is a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook and you can do your color scheme on your pot holder any way you want if you want to make it solid or striped or whatever you want to do um, but I'm going to start out, you need to start out with a chain of 21. And then you want to double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. Remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So four over and double crochet into that one. Like that. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that until you get all the way to the end okay when you make it to the end you need to have a total of 19 stitches counting this little chain here on the end so this is going to count as a, as a double crochet so counting this one you need to have 19 I'm going to switch colors here so what I'm going to do here on my last double crochet if you don't want to switch colors you don't have to but I'm going to go into it and yarn over and go through the first two loops now right here I'm going to clip this yarn and start my new one I'm going to draw it through these two loops on my hook like that and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put like a little just a small knot in it that I can take out later whenever I um, weave in my tails but just to hold it in place while I'm working. It's a loose knot. And I'll take it out later. There we go. Okay, now you want to chain three and turn. And that chain three counts as a double crochet. <clears throat> so now you want to crochet, double crochet. You want to have nine double crochets across. So this counts as our first one. And we're going to start our next one, not right here, but right here. So we're going to yarn over and go into this one and double crochet. So counting that chain three, there's two double crochets. And we need nine. There's three. Four. five six seven eight and nine now in the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet a chain one and then another double crochet back into that same stitch. Just like that. That's going to start to give us our little, um, define the legs a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and double crochet in the remaining of the stitches. And we should have a total of nine stitches left. 
We'll see if we do. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, and the ninth one is going to be in the top of this little chain here. So I'm just going to go in it, just like that. Now I'm going to chain three and turn. <clears throat> now I'm kind of going to be repeating this row, but every time we go, there's going to be another stitch added to each side. So. So we're going to work our way up until we get to this chain space. One double crochet in every stitch. Not with this start not starting with this first one. Starting with this one. like that and now we're going to go into this chain space and we're going to do one double a chain one and then another double all into that chain space and now we're going to work our way back down putting one double crochet in each of the remaining of the stitches and make sure that this one is your first one. Sometimes it gets kind of lost underneath this double crochet. So make sure you go into it. Make sure you're going into the chain 3-2 as your last stitch. Just like that. And then we're going to chain 3 and turn our work and repeat that row. That Now it's just a repeat, repeat of that last row. We just double crochet in all these stitches. And then we do a double crochet, chain 1, and double crochet into this chain 1 space. And then and double crochet in all these stitches. So it's real easy. And we want to keep doing that for, and we want to do that for a total of 10 rows starting with our very first row. So we're on three, we're getting ready to go to four, and you want to do a total of 10. Okay, I got my 10 rows done. Kind of pull that down a little bit. And that's what it looks like so far. Now I'm just going to pick off where I left off and chain three and turn. Now I'm going to do one double crochet in every stitch, just like before, until I get to that uh, center chain one. Okay, I've made it all the way across, and now I'm going to go ahead and double crochet one time into that center here. Now I'm going to chain three and turn and go back across again. This is just uh, separating the legs. It's just one double on every stitch, just like before.
until you get across to the, this side. Okay, when you get back across to the other side, we're going to do one more row, but we're going to chain one, or chain three, I'm sorry, and turn. Now we're going to do another row across here, but we're going to work in the back loop only. So we're going to yarn over, and you can see that there each stitch has two loops. We want to just go through the back one. Like that. And double crochet. Back one of the next one. Double crochet. Back one of the next one. Double. Back one. And you want to do that all the way across. And what that's doing is leaving this little, um, the front loop here that we can attach a ruffle to later. Okay, I'm coming up here to the end. Now you don't have to, this chain three, you don't have to try to go through any back loop or anything. Just go through it like normal. Like that. And now I'm going to tie this off and clip the yarn here. Okay. Now I'm going to start again on the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to start right here in the chain one space. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to jump to this next stitch and put one double crochet. Now I'm going to put one double crochet and every stitch across. I'm just going to repeat these three rows over here. And on the last row, I'm just going to be working through the back loop, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and clip this yarn and tie this off. You can hide all these cells if you want. I usually do it at the end. Like that. So this is what it looks like so far. And we got these little rows where we just went through the back loops so we can attach a ruffle on later. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make the little um, ring, hanging ring, and I'm going to go around it all with single crochet. That will clean up all the edges, make them look real nice. That's the key to have a nice, clean, finished project, is going around all your edges. That's what I do anyways. Okay, you want to start with a slip knot on your hook. You want to do a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to go and slip, slip stitch through the first chain to form a, a ring. Like that. And now I'm going to do, I want to chain one, and I'm going to do 20 single crochets through this ring. So I'm going to go through single crochet 20 times. It's going to be really tight. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every so often you'll probably have to stop and pull all your stitches over like that and then I'm going to continue again 9 10 
11. Okay, once you get your 20 single crochets in there, you'll have a little ring here like this, the little hook ring that you can hang it with. You want to slip stitch into your very first single crochet like that. And now I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to hook it up here on the left side of the piece with the right side of your work facing you. Make sure your um, your row back your row of um, where you did the back went through the back loop only make sure your rows up at the top so we can add ruffles on it later. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the top of this stitch and single crochet it on like that. I'll sew it on better later but that's just to hook it on for now. Now I'm gonna go down my whole piece and single crochet and it's going to be hard to see the stitches because it's on the side of these double crochets but I always just say for every double crochet it'll get two single crochets and I just kind of evenly space them out just like this okay once you made it all the way down and do a row of single crochet I'm actually going to do three single crochets in each of the corner stitches so there's one two and three and now I'm just going to continue across putting one single crochet in every stitch the, by putting three in the corner it kind of helps the corners lay flatter So I'm just going to continue all the way around my piece, putting one single crochet in every stitch. I'm going to put three in each corner, three here, three here, three here, three up at this corner, and then I'm going to meet you back over here where we started. So just go like this and then put your three and go back all the way down, just outline it, just like that. Okay, when you make it back around. Uh, to where you started. Remember we started in the top stitch and we single crocheted this ring on. So I'm going to put two more single crochets in that stitch since we already have that one. Like that. And now I'm going to go through this stitch right here that the, holds the ring on. If you pull the ring up you'll be able to see it right through. And slip stitch. Like that. I'm going to pull up a length of yarn clip it. Now I'm going to use my yarn needle and kind of sew this ring on a little better with that with the tail. So I'm just going to kind of fold it up here flip my piece over and just sew it on a little bit tighter. Grab a piece here and then a piece on the ring. Go through it and do it again. Do it a couple times until I feel like it's tight. And then I'll just weave this tail in and clip it off. Okay, now for the ruffle, you want, I'm gonna flip it over like this. I'm gonna be working in these front loops that we skipped before. So I'm going to go into the first one here and start my yarn. I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet two times. One Two. Now I'm going to go to the next stitch, the next loop. Remember we're just going through that loop and doing half double crochet. Just right through that loop. That's my tail, but like that. And oops, half double. Three times. So there's one. Two, three, and then the 
next one I'm gonna put three double three double crochets into the next one one two three and then the next one we'll get three double crochets one two three and then three in the next Oops. one two three so it's three double crochets all the way across until you get to your last two stitches and I'll meet you at your last two okay when you get to your last two stitches here you want to do three half doubles in the next one two three and then two singles in the last like that and then you can tie that off actually two singles in the last and then slip stitch one more time in that last one there I think that'll make it look a little bit better there we go so in that very last one it was two singles and a slip stitch like that and then you can hide that tail kind of straighten out the back here and now you want to do the same thing on the other side here where these little um, loops are Okay, once you get all your tails hidden, that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you were able to follow along. It's pretty quick and easy. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Facebook. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. You can post anything that you crochet on there. I'd really like to see a picture of it. And until next time, have a good day.